Ladies and gentlemen, this next story is very important. If you are an activist, an otter, or especially a cop watcher who likes to practice and preach the First Amendment of public photography, free speech, or press, you might want to pay attention to this story because we've got another government trying to restrict or ban people filming the cops on their duty. Louisiana has that instead of Oklahoma, and Arizona's pushing that. This one's called Arizona GOP pushes bill to restrict filming cops. Arizona Republicans build restrict who can film cops. Here we go. I said this would happen. Republicans are promoting. I did too. I've been saying this. Bill more and more governors are pushing illegal to ban for cop a watching. Citizen to record a police officer. Yeah. Let me take you to Arizona. Put up the picture of the guy sponsoring the bill. Let's check it out. Here we His go. Name is John Kavanaugh. John Kavanaugh. The individuals who took video of the police killing of George Floyd yep. or Eric Gardner would have faced criminal charges if in Arizona under their new legislation if applied. It has already won the approval of the State House of Representatives with only Republican support. The legislation now heads to the Senate. This is extremely dangerous. The bill proposed by Fountain Hills Republican Representative John Kavanaugh, who spent decades as a police officer for the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, would make it unlawful for someone to film the police up to 15 feet away while officers were engaged in lawful enforcement activity. Constitutional experts and civil rights advocates say the proposed law would be unconstitutional. Mm. Now, he believes, oh, no, 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 it's is actually constitutional because I'm not telling people to stop recording. I'm just saying stop recording police officers and we're going to just make up some distance rule so that your recording would be ineffective. All right. So he says it distracts the cop. This is what he says. The representative. It distracts the cop against the person they are making enforcement against. If I ban videotaping, then it will be unconstitutional. <laughs> Let's put up this picture again. Check it out one more time. He's a dumbass. This guy's a yeah. jackass. This Class jackass. Going to pass. Okay. Now, if it gets signed into law, I do believe it will be overturned, hopefully by a judge, if you find a decent and common sense judge. But that's also you rolling the dice. All right. So let's be very clear. The Supreme Court has upheld time and time again that civilians are allowed to record police officers. And explain this to me. How is it that me holding a recorder, a telephone or whatever it may be, yeah. how does that impact your job as a cop? If I'm literally staying out of your investigation and recording, how does that impact your ability to do your job? How does it create a distraction and really if you're doing your job right, you want as many people as possible recording it. You don't want somebody's word against you and they're lying on you, Mr. or Miss Officer. Yeah. You want a camera record. You want evidence it's of your good deeds, of your and execution of professional services. You want somebody to be able to be a witness for you if you're doing your job right. But exactly. we all know why you don't. Another want thing is called we transparency. All know why police departments across this country are saying no to this. They do not want to. And here's another thing as well, too. You know, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, they're trying to, you know, limit like that. You know, here's the thing about these cops. You know, they try to get with that because, you know, it's called Brady violation because the cop screws up or makes a contradiction like that. Well, guess what? His work scrutinized. So that's why there are film cameras out there to make sure they're doing their job to the ability of the oath of the community. Citizens recording them because they want to continue to do their dirt without being held accountable. Yeah. Let's call it for what it is. All right, it gets deeper. Here we go. Uh, courts have upheld that people do have a constitutional right to videotape police activity, and now to say that it is illegal is just idiotic. This would make the recording of the murder of George Floyd illegal. That's according to Dan Barr, media and First Amendment attorney. Here are the details of the bill that we're talking about. Here we go. It's House Bill 2319. Says that anyone who police ordered to stop filming. Think about how dangerous this is. 
Well, check this if out. Here we anyone go. Anyone. This is good, good deep. Who police order to stop filming continues to do so, they would face a class three misdemeanor and up to 30 days in jail. Wow. The beep. That's cold. What the fuck? You know, cops are like, you stop filming. Like, well, I'm, I'm way across the street, officer. I'm way over there. I'm not interfering with your job. I'm going to keep filming like that. And, and you keep filming like that, and you, or you stop, or you keep going. You can be faced a class three misdemeanor in 30 days in jail just for filming? It's protected from the First Amendment. Hello? Fuck. Bill passed out of the Arizona House of Representatives Wednesday, 31 to 28. With Republicans supporting it group called and Pimmet. Democratic Public lawmakers opposing it. Not These people crime. don't give a damn about the Constitution. They know this is unconstitutional. They don't care about the Constitution. No, they don't. They don't care about An the amendment amendments. added by the House Appropriations Committee allows people, it says, okay, all right, we're going to allow people to film their own interactions with the police. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck on that amendment. Yeah. Um, See if that stands as up. As long as as they are not, not interfering, interfering with, lawful, with police lawful, lawful police actions. Have you ever tried to film yourself while being arrested by the police? It's hard. Okay. You ever seen somebody try to do it? Yeah. It's always unsuccessful. It's hard. Almost so they say, so you know, that, that that's lawful. We we can put that in the amendment, uh, including searching, handcuffing, or administering a field sobriety test. The amendment also allows passengers in a vehicle to film as long as they do not interfere <laughs> with, with lawful, lawful police, police actions. Once again, <laughs> how in the hell is a recording interfering with lawful police actions? If yeah. you are interfering with lawful police actions, how you're doing it, something how, other than recording. Thing. How the because heck does a recording camera interfere? Means you're recording. It's, a, it's a freaking camera. It means you're not interfering because you hold, you're holding Hold something to record. Yeah. You're not interfering. You can't interfere. It's not, you go, it's not like you're fucking asking the questions. Hey, officer, what are you doing? Hey, what are you not violating this? Hey, what are you searching for? What are you searching for? What are you searching for? A suspicious person. No, it's someone just filming like that. That's not interfering. A summons or enforcing the law and handling an emotionally disturbed or disorderly person who is exhibiting abnormal behavior. Where did this idea come from? Kavanaugh said he initially got the idea to run the bill because he has seen stories of groups of people going around filming police. <laughs> cop I mean, they act like citizens. Yeah, they're called cop He watchers. said the legislation didn't originate with any police union or advocacy group. He's lying. Though he later he told ABC ass. 15 the idea came from, from a Tuscan cop. cop. All right? Why does this matter? Filming the police has played an integral role in helping journalists and researchers look. Yeah, here's the thing. You know, cop watching, you know, as filming the police has, it hasn't been around like for a couple of years. It dates back to when Rodney King was getting beat down. Some guy... Had one of his whole old school video camera like that. He started filming that stuff like that. But unfortunately, the cops got acquitted like that. But nowadays, as more people film from the cops, you know, doing their cop watches, make sure the people do, uh, rights are not getting violated. The First Amendment, Second Amendment, Fourth Amendment, you know, the right to uh, search and seizure, and the Fifth Amendment, the right to remain silent. Learn the breadth and how law enforcement use what's called cover charges. You know what the cover charge is? That's when they charge you with BS. Because they have nothing else to yeah. charge you with. They just make it's up to cover their crime. ass. All right? You'll say, oh, we'll charge they you with jaywalking. They use cover char charges we'll you with to justify conduct. the use of excessive force against you. Yeah. Because they never had a reason to arrest you in the first place. The term is often used by defense attorneys to describe charges used by police to cover like up the cops can make up like, I remember Leon Valley. The way the use so of Vaz excessive force. About, well, anybody now, give you a stat. You know, and like anybody that questions about that, charges with resisting arrest, felony resisting arrest. In Jefferson Parish. I mean, witnesses on America's time were getting arrested. A department there were like many people were getting charged with felony resisting arrest. Out of arrest. all of the times where a cover charge was used, 73% of the time, it was a black person. Okay? Let that sink in. Mr. Malone, thoughts on this? This happens, this is happening with voting. It's happening with yep. now police, not, you know, lawmakers pushing up laws. But, but Republicans are very strategic and they're much more strategic than Democrats. Uh, when we look at Trump, Trump was placing a lot of circuit judges in particular positions because he right. knew when laws came down that they could overturn them. So uh, Republicans are very strategic. And so we know, goodness damn well, that this law is not right. And we know that 
police are public servants. They're there to public to protect the public trust. Yeah. And so well, there is nothing that serve. a police officer should be doing that's not allowed to be recorded or documented. And so I think this really should wake us up and especially wake Democrats up to know that we got to get people elected into the state legislative office officers that can be able to move legislation forth and to get this kind of stuff shouldn't even get out of committee it at shouldn't all even get out of committee at yep. all we know that this is not right the data is behind it i don't even know why we are having the conversation it shouldn't come out of committee but we got to be more strategic as democrats to make sure that we're putting people in putting people in the right places Man, That's we right. gotta put people in the right places. If That's not, right. we're gonna continue to see these type of legislations get. Yeah, exactly. And here's one more thought, ladies and gentlemen, before we get out of here. Cop watching, people feeling the police is effective because cops have the ability. You know, and we all know cops lie. We know they hide evidence or plant evidence or they lie in the records or they cut out like body cam or dash cam footage like that. Cop watching is effective like that. There was this, uh, I think, a uh, Texas sheet dog, Jack Miller, put up a story a couple days ago of a cop lying to a to a, a victim, a witness, and somebody was filming the cops out there. Just to I don't know if it's a true cop watcher or not, but the fact that the person that filmed the interaction, video cameras don't lie. This person was supposedly going to charge like that. He got acquitted. Charges were dropped because the cop watcher filmed the interaction. Before we get out of here, ladies and gentlemen, when you're out there dealing with the cops like that, always film it. It's called FTP. Film the police. Oh, yeah. And fuck the police. <laughs> and it's for the people, baby. 100% for the people. Film the police. When you see the cops like that, when you're out there, no, film them. It doesn't matter. Just film them because you have the right, it's a protected on your First Amendment right, to film them when they are on their jobs. Think about that. With that said, I'm out of here. My job. Peace out.